carve a hole. Oh God, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna say, oh Jesus. Ugh. Okay, okay, I think I'm good. I think I am good. No, I'm not. <coughs> uh. Oh God. Hey everybody, I am the Neural and we are back with Let's Build a Landing Pad. Planets are out and you may be wondering why it took so long for me to get a video out. Well, this thing kinda caught me off guard here. As you can see, I can play around planets just fine, uh, but pasting a blueprint of the landing pad onto one uh, it kind of gives me a frame every 10 seconds or so. So, I'm sorry, but for now, I'm gonna have to keep working on empty space. And if I just get rid of this blueprint here, maybe I'll be able to show you that I can actually run on planets and run around this place pretty neatly. Uh, but there are a couple of problems. So there's this and uh, for Earth-like planets, there's also the problem that foliage the, the, tends not to go away uh, and also tends to come back after I, uh, after I get rid of it, either by body slamming it or whatever. Oops, I just dropped my e-sig here. Or whatever. So let's get back onto. This isn't post commentary, by by the way, not today. Uh, let's get back to the empty world and keep building this thing up, shall we? Okay, and we're back. And I've uh, I've went uh, ahead and built up the uh, the waiting area here. Just a few chairs. Now the deal is that. I, let's see what I have on my toolbar here. Ah, there you go. Uh, let's get rid of that symmetry mode. I am going to try and get a, uh, what am I going to call it, a little barrier here from one side of the station. Let's say, hmm, actually, let's rotate that around all the way oh god that's gonna lag there you go all the way to the other side and this will delimit is that the right word delimit this will delimit the oh by the way today i'm gonna focus on what i'm doing instead of rambling on about other subjects because i can't brain other way um so this will will uh, mark off the waiting area and I'm thinking about what else I can do here but uh, there you go right now uh, pretty much a rough a rough sketch of how stuff is going to be and then on this side I'm gonna have a departure and an arrival area now before I get to that uh, now you have an idea of what stuff will become. I want to uh, get building the uh, the actual uh, the actual control tower, the control center, and for that I need you to be white. Whoa, God! I really don't like this uh, this uh, this double axis thing. Ah, uh, there you go. Uh, it doesn't always work out the way I expect it to. I need to, I need to plan out. Yeah, there you go. See, I need to plan out this whole. This doesn't work either. It has to be on these axes. There you go. These axes. Now this will be the floor for the control center. And I am going to have. God, these LCD panels—they're driving me nuts. And nuts. <clears throat> I've also been sick, or I am all also sick, so that's why I haven't, uh, I haven't really uh, done uh, a, l a whole lot on this planet. Of course, you all you all know Fallout 4 came out, and I really really like that game. So I've been having some some fun. Uh, work has also been uh, kind of stressful. 
So, and I'm tired, of course, working with no days off. So I hope you understand if I just took my time and just went ahead and did stuff that that didn't require a whole lot of brain power. So uh, the entrance is here and I believe that first I want to mark off where the uh, the stairs will connect. So let, let's just mark that off right there. Uh, I might want to build up an extra an extra block of base. Yeah, I, I, I might actually do that. Oh God, I hate this. Uh, let, let's just do it like this. Yeah, there you go. Just so I so I have a, a bit of leeway, something to work with. And uh, wow. What I do here? There you go. And that way I can start placing the glass. You all know how uh, an airport control tower looks like. So I am going to get started on that glass and trying to get... I, I've seen... Nope. I've seen a, a design for a ship that had LCD panels uh, on its outside, outside the bridge, so in empty space actually, but they were really clearly visible from the inside and uh, they, what, and they actually, uh, they actually allowed for uh, a lot of room to be saved. Uh, so I might actually go with that because I do want some, some LCD panels in there for the control tower technicians to know what ships are on, what ships are arriving, what ships are departing the station. That will be... Uh, that's. I believe that will add a whole lot to the character of the build. Uh, and uh, of course, not, not necessarily to uh, its uh, functionality. Yeah, I'm gonna say functionality. Okay, so where's the entrance? There it is. Let's just carve a hole. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna say, oh Jesus. Ugh. Okay, okay, I think I'm good. I think I am good. No, I'm not. <coughs> uh. Oh god. I think I'm gonna sneeze again. I am not doing well. Ugh. All right, let's start uh, working on the, this glass here. So I have an idea of what I'm working with, what space I'm working with inside. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think I'm gonna have the entrance out here. Uh, hold on, no, I don't want symmetry for this. I don't have, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna have the entrance here. I think I'm gonna have it in the middle and that way I can have uh, terminals, control terminals or viewports or whatever on each side. Yeah, I think that that's a way better bet. I also need to work on this freaking floor. Well, let's turn symmetry back on because uh, the way the glass connects here on the diagonals, it's not really doing it for me. So let's try, oh god, what is that? Oh, okay, that's just the red highlight. I wonder if this'll do it. Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, I, I I like a little pit here. Uh, I think it looks cool. Okay, and the, let's turn symmetry back off. The entrance can be around these blocks right here. Okay, uh, let's keep building this up. I think I'm gonna give it, I had to put in these pillars here so that I could connect these glass panes. Uh, I think I'm gonna go up a couple more, put in a, one or two straight panes and uh, then clo put a lid on it. Okay, I think that'll do it. Uh, now, I just need to place this roof right here. 
and afterwards uh, let's just connect that up afterwards I believe at least the exterior will be done uh, I do want to complete the exterior at least the rough exterior here before I move on over to the interiors because uh, if you'll remember I said that this will this bottom portion right here will be for cargo so this whole area here will have to have some garages or something it's gonna have to have some vehicles that will go through these doors uh, load up any containers that the ships will that the ships that uh, dock will bring in uh, and take them out to wherever uh, that means that we're gonna have some fun designing ships. Uh, her. Oh god, it's gonna be one of those, isn't it? It's good. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have some fun designing ships. However, uh, for that to to be uh, an effective plan, what the hell. Uh, there you go. For that to be an effective plan, uh, I do want to complete the exterior here, ju just for uh, uh, for organizational sake. Uh, so, keeping in theme with the blue border and the white uh, background, the white main, eh, whatever we want to call it. Uh, now, this high roof in the control tower uh, will serve a couple of purposes. Uh, one, aesthetics, uh, will be able to, to actually see it from all the way down here uh, and it won't look too stubby. Two, it'll give us uh, room to actually have some LCDs uh, in there that'll t actually have information about what ships are where. So we have four a 12 landing pads and I'm gonna have to find a way for in a vanilla uh, build uh, to have all that information cr actually crammed up in there. Uh -huh. Now we do we have the blue border here. What I think I'm gonna do is to finish it off and then build a second layer, a second roof layer, and I can even build a maybe a, a little uh, a spinning radar dishy thingy uh, just a, a mock radar dishy thingy radar dishy thingy i i very much enjoy that that word uh, okay so a mock up radar dishy thingy and eh, possibly some other stuff who knows uh, so now let's get on with uh, the rest of this. Now, how am I gonna do this? Alright, I figured out how I'm gonna do it. Just double layer it here. Man, the, there's gonna be a whole lot of stuff for us to, to have, to actually have fun with and play around with. I can cram a lot of detail here. Now, uh, you'll, you'll notice that I'm not uh, progressing as much in this episode like I did in the previous ones where I uh, post uh, post recorded the sound uh, however I do feel like it, it was time uh, there were quite a few of you that were really enjoying the this build and I think it was just about time the that I uh, put out a video so time not being the uh, 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 the most uh, available commodity f to me right now today uh, tonight I'm going to dinner at a friend's house so that's a uh, again less time to record uh, I decided that maybe I'll do a little less but show you a bit more of uh, what I'm doing and what's happening with the build uh, man if anybody has any idea of how to fix the these uh, oh, let's get rid of that of how to fix this the the LCD panels not working, uh, just displaying offline. Please do let me know. I've tried uh, to read up on on this and try to figure out how the hell I I can fix this. But as far as I can understand it, it is a bug. Okay, but the outside is pretty much complete, and I am quite happy with it. 
I really am, especially when we add more lights and more moving parts, more stuff. Uh, let me just check how long I've been recording and I'll come straight back. Okay, we still have a couple of minutes here. Now, this is the next day, I already had dinner with my friends and wow, did I get worse. <laughs> God, this, uh, I think, I, I have a cold or something. Uh, and my night was not pleasant at all. Uh, but I still have, well, I wish I could say I, at least I still have my health. <laughs> but I don't. Uh, however, I do think we can finish off the, the medium details here. So uh, just like that, we have the roof or the, the interior roof of the control tower done uh, and I do believe that it is high time that I more clearly defined the levels here so the uh, l let's uh, I'm not gonna work with this the, this is too uh, it's too invasive um, but where the floors will go I hope this isn't too dark for for YouTube at least it's kind of dark for me though I hope you guys can see anything at all uh, entrances and exits uh, let's go with something along the lines of here and then one two three four five ish six seven okay so this will give us uh, the access points, uh, so I think I'm gonna, I, I don't think, I am going to make a, a little mm, security access point here. Let's check out the doors here, and we do have the sliding doors, uh, get rid of you. We do have the sliding doors, and I can place them. Oh, right, the... Well, the her huh. these things, yeah, this is just one door, yeah, I think I can make a a pretty cool uh terminal thing uh, or a security checkpoint security checkpointy thingy if I just go on to here, I might have to play around with sensors uh that part might actually take. Uh, a bit of time, but I think that this might look great now in our current uh, over security sized world. Let's see if we can make this as scary as possible. <laughs> and now, if we just let let me just teleport over. Oh no, I'm right there. I'm right here. Right here. Do I have gravity here? Okay. Now, we can imagine the passengers or whatever. Let's just close this for uh, for effect. Oh, God, I'm going to sneeze again. Crap. Uh, God. So, people want to embark. There's going to be some LCD displays in here. So, let's say they want uh, to depart to somewhere. We'll be sitting here. La-di-da. And the the announcer will will come uh, and say, uh, "Ship blah blah is ready for departure uh, at uh, gate blah blah." So this actually, yeah, I should have no, I can't have as many doors as I have terminals, uh, s terminals or docking ports, but I can have some LCDs. Maybe I'll have some mock ones. Saying, I don't know, destination Mars, uh, departing now. And we can come over to here. And this is where I think sensors will come into play. Uh, we'd need some some sound effects. That would be cool to play. When people got to here, the door would open. There you go. And then it would shut down behind or it would shut behind them, and now they're in this glass cage here. And this is what, is what I was talking about in our current security world. 
now we have to to be like fish in a, in a fish bowl uh, before we board any sort of aircraft so there you go after the security uh, checkpoint uh, clears us out the next door will open and we will be inside the terminal which is heavily defended by all of these very tall and secure barriers and there we go now from here uh, let's just pop into spectator mode again from here uh, this uh, this is the part I, I do want a centerpiece here something just purely aesthetic that will occupy quite a bit of room and uh, I'll make an episode uh, around that maybe a, a quick timey one I don't know uh, but from here we can direct ourselves to the departure platform so we're gonna have to go all the way up at least to here and I should really uh, let's give us nah nah this symmetry mode's just fine uh, will have to come up unfortunately there are no uh, no good elevators uh, in space engineers so at least for uh, for big heights so this will we'll just have we'll just have to hoof it uh, what are you doing let's uh, oh god I I am just losing snot everywhere no 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 oh crap I'm Am I inside the world? No. Okay. 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 Oh, no. I'm in the bottom floor. There you go. Hmm. This is... Let's just try to get a feel for this thing. Ah, and the heavens show us the light. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is a, a flat roof, a flat, boring roof. Of course, I have to take into account that I have to have stairs all the way up here. So that will be a, an interesting endeavor uh, to climb all that. I'm also going to add some glass uh, glass panes to these areas, these ones, possibly these ones too. So I want this to feel very open, not crammed at all. Uh, but for today, I think that is going to be it. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. Please remember, leave a like, leave a dislike. Leave a comment on this video, always tell me what you think of the show, follow me on Twitter, and until next time, as always, I have been the Neural, and I hope you have an awesome day.